Hello everyone, welcome you all to the third video tutorial of the XML manipulation video series. In this video, we are going to talk about the XML template expressions and how we can use that to create new XML values. In integration scenarios, it is a very common use case to transform and give an XML value into a different XML value. So to demonstrate this use case, we are going to reuse the dummy XML service that we have been using in the past video tutorial. As you can remember, that service produces some uh, response about order details and the customers. So we are going to summarize that and uh, output as a XML response. Let's go to the code and let me guys show you how we can actually define an XML template expression. First, let me define an XML uh, resource function. So this function is going to be a get one and we are going to put order summary as the resource name and this is going to return an XML value and it might throw an error so let me define a variable called XML summary and this is how we define an XML template expression we have the XML keyword, then space, and then backtick. So, in between backticks, we can put the XML string we want. For example, this is the summary that we are going to generate. So, we will have a parent element called summary, and in between those, we will have order summary elements for each and every order from the backend. So one order will map to one order summary element here and the ID will be mapped to order ID here and you, uh, you can see that in the response we are getting from the backend service, the dummy service, the ID is an attribute, XML attribute. And in the summary it is going to be an element and the name will be changed to order ID. And in the original response, the name is inside the customer and in the summary that we are going to generate, there will be no customer element. It will be under directly order summary. And email is also the same. It will be directly under order summary and there will be no customer. And we are going to rename the total element into total amount. And we will have uh, order summary for all the orders. So we need a summary element okay now we have created an XML template expression which only consists summary element now we need to fill in the middle uh, so we need to create the order summary so I will first uh, show you guys uh, something important we can refer any variable or any expressions in ballerina inside the XML template expressions as interpolated expressions for example let's say I have an int val variable which contains an integer and I can refer that here using an interpolated expression int val So in the same way, I can use uh, another XML template expression inside this or even I can use a query expression and anything that will produce an any data value. So for now, uh, let's keep this uh, XML template expression here and let's generate this part. So I am going to create another XML template expression which is order summary and it is going to be XML template and it will contain the order summary element. And in the middle it has order ID and 
also we have the name and we have the email and finally we have a total amount variable okay now this is uh, what what we actually want uh, inside the summary but this has to be repeated for every order so that means we have to iterate to every order so in order to do that we have to use the navigation expression so if we can use the navigation expressions to go to order element and use and query expressions to traverse to them then we can actually generate this part that means this part iteratively so this is how we define this part but this is useless because uh, this will only generate one order summary so in order to generate uh, all the order summaries for all the orders in this uh, xml body we have to use a uh, query expression so this is how we use the query expressions to iterate to all the order elements so uh, let me give a variable name for that order summary now I'm going to okay know that variable because this one is going to be the real one Now I'm going to select the order element in uh, the order details. So I have not received the response from the backend service. Let me receive that by calling the HTTP client. Okay, I call the order endpoint of the backend service. And from that I am getting uh, the order element right now now I have used an navigation expression here now I can go to this point and this point and this point iteratively so all the orders can be referred here by this order and this from close will iterate through them so we have four orders here so it will iterate four times now for each and every order i need to generate this part so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select and copy this whole thing here okay now I don't need this part so now this what we, what this part will do is it will go through all the orders the order elements and for each and every order it will create this part now I need to fill in the values so order ID will be the ID L, uh, attribute so this is how I refer it I have the order variable here and to access an attribute I need to put dot and then put id so this is how we access an attribute 
to refer to a name i need to go to uh, okay this has to be within the interpolated expression and here also we have to have an interpolated expression so inside that we have the order and we have to go to the customer and then we have to go to uh, uh, the name and then we have to get the data and let me copy the same thing for email because they are they are both in the same level okay now the total amount it's in the order element directly so let me refer it as uh, total okay now we have created our xml body for the summary and now what we need to do is we have to refer this order summary inside the summary because the whole thing is wrapped inside this summary element so what i am going to do is i am going to drag this down and now i am going to refer this order summary inside this so i will remove this in 12 part and I will refer the order summary inside there. Okay, I I don't need this variable that is just used to show you guys how we can refer variables inside the XML template expressions. Now I have created the necessary XML template expressions. Now I am going to return it. Okay, now let's run the service. Okay, service is running now. Let's send a request and see what we get. Okay, as you can see, now we have successfully converted the response coming from the backend service into this summary so we have achieved what we wanted to achieve in this tutorial so hope you guys get a good understanding about xml template expressions and their usages hope to see you guys in the next video